fans. The folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town. And uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific and trackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Has a goal! What a hit! The save was firm. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. A throw in. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Tries to get it clear. Buffal plays it out to the wing. Zayek. It's come loose. Played down the flank. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. That a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. And it's Serrero. South Africa still without an attempt on target. He's making good use of his strength. And the shot! Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Forward it goes. What a throw in. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. clear here it comes lovely bit of skill what an adventurous run from a defender Knocks it away. And the first half is done. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? South Africa have been playing relatively well from what I've witnessed. Good movement and the ball retention has been quite strong. And it's led to a few chances. It's just that... 
cutting edge that's lacking at the moment and it's fixable. South Africa head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight cagey game. Are the team any further forward than they were when they started out? If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see... Goes for goal! Say it. Hakimi. Plays it out to the flank. Played back in. Goalkeeper's ball. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Tries to get it forward quickly. Decent looking ball. And that has been clubbed away. Morocco are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Benatia. Zayek. Belanda. Zayek. Hooks through there. And out to safety. Morocco merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. He's making a real surge on the left. Oh, good challenge, stood up well against his man. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late... So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So 90 minutes, couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. 90 minutes gone, and nothing between them still. Buffal. Zayek. Buffal. Beautifully done. Turns and goes back. Zayek has a pop! Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Played out to the right. Gets into a dangerous position. Half-time, extra time. Yeah, it's still goalless, but will it be a refereeing decision? A mistake or a moment of magic now that makes all the difference? Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? So, for the last time, who dares to win? So, who's he picking out? Header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Heads it! Another fruitless header. Well, there's nothing wrong with the service. Uh, they've just been very wasteful in the air. 
Benatia. Benatia drives it forward. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although they're still a... Still inseparable. We have penalties. Yeah, the longer it went on, it kind of became inevitable that it would end this way, and, and while each defence can be proud, they've got very little say from here. It's up to the keepers now. So it comes down to this, a final rallying cry, and then kicks from the spot. Real tension here then, as the first man readies himself. So the ball is placed on the spot. It is so important to score the first one. And he's found the net. He was always looking good there, nice penalty. A lovely stop from the keeper, he's done his teammates proud with that one. This to put them two up. And the keepers come up, Trumps. He was so focused there, fantastic save. So, the second man in line. Perfect penalty. He just did what he was asked. Amrabat will take the third penalty. That's a good penalty. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. The third man in the queue. Brilliantly done, never took his eye off the keeper either. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Oh, what a save! Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and makes it a great save. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. Lest you need reminding, miss this, and it is over. It's in, he's kept the minute. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. So can he be the hero? I oh, saved it! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Now we're into the realms of sudden death. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. South Africa at the point of no return. And scores to keep them alive. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. So we're on to number seven, lucky or not. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. South Africa have to score or they have had it. Oh, nerveless. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. It's in and the keeper could have done better. South Africa must score here to stay in it. It's there, and the fight goes on. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Almost a full team now. Here is their ninth man. Saved! Keepers done brilliantly. 
think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Oh, brilliant. He had to save it, and he did. And stepping up, the skipper. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. South Africa must score to keep their hopes alive. It's in, he's kept them in it. Oh, that was a great strike, he just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Terrific penalty, unsavable. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Oh, it's been saved! And that's it! So, in the end, heartbreak. A few of them inconsolable. But this is what footballing fate had stored up for them. It is nasty. Oh, commiserations. The definition of, of penalty heartbreak and part of the game that we find irresistible. Total emotional despair for them. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.